Hey, what's up? Ed Lauber here, and in today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at finding perspective in an existing image. It's kind of like Finding Nemo, except without any water or fish. So, really, they're not actually related at all. But anyway, I have a photo here from when I went to the Bahamas, and to find uh, perspective in this is pretty straightforward. In, in most cases where you have buildings, they'll usually have uh, strong lines in them to really point you where the perspective should lie. But you also notice that not all these buildings are sitting in the same orientation. So this, this red building here is at a different angle than this front building. So that's just something to keep in mind if, if you wanted to create, say, another object in here um, in the same perspective as uh, one of these buildings. But for now, I'm going to come down here and grab my line tool. And I have to set the 5 pixels, and I'm going to leave it that large, just so it's a bit easier to see. And I'm going to choose a color that will stand out. And my goal here is to follow these uh, strong lines going off into perspective. So I'll zoom out with Control minus And I'm just going to come in and create a long line going across the document. And I'm eyeing that railing there in the middle. I'm just trying to follow this line along the top of that. So you can see how easy it is to create a grid from man-made structures just because they all have those um, strong lines in them. So I'll continue doing this creating uh, more pieces to my grid here by doing the exact same thing just looking for lines in this building and creating a line along them. And you'll notice also the bottom of the pier here also has lines so that I can continue on for more than just this building. And the top of this uh, roof here also has a nice strong line I can uh, build a line off of. Now that I have that, I can grab all these layers and just finish out this grid without having to just kind of guess what's up here. So I'm going to grab those and then I'll hit V to bring up my move tool again and hold alt and then hold shift and drag vertically up. You'll see when you drag them up uh, they're still in the same perspective and it looks way off but all I need to do to fix this is hit control T then just rotate. And my goal here is to line up this bottom line in the same parallel manner that all these other perspective lines are and the rest of them should fall with it. Just like so. And now I have this nice grid here going off the top of the document. And I'm not too worried about down here because uh, if I were to add a building here, uh, you wouldn't need any of this. And so with that, I'm just going to combine these layers into one with Control E. And now I can create the other side. And so I'll grab a new color. And doing the same exact thing, I'm going to follow the strong lines on that side. And I'll go through this pretty quickly. Just the same uh, techniques from the first building. And I'll duplicate them, move them up, match them best I can. And that looks pretty good. The last thing I need to do is check for any vertical perspective. Um, these buildings aren't that tall, so it, there might not be much of anything here. But it's a good idea just to check. And to do that, all you need to do is hold shift and draw a line. And if it's sitting parallel with uh, the verticals in the document, then there is no vertical perspective. So you can see here that I'm doing that and nothing's changing so I don't need to worry about vertical perspective in this image. But you can see just using the same technique if if you did actually have to line it up you would do just what we did only vertically. So I'll get rid of those. Now I have one more image to go through. Um, it's a little bit more of a complex building and it also has some uh, vertical perspective to it. So we'll go through this Japanese shrine here. We'll do the first two angles pretty fast and then I'll go over the vertical perspective. 
So I'll zoom in here and just kind of look in here. I have some nice strong lines, and uh, this side uh, is also matches this railing down here. And so I'll keep this color I have in, and I'll just come in and start drawing my perspective lines, following along. And you'll see at this this top part here how those pieces kind of curve in. You want to kind of match it to the lowest point of those curves, just like so. And now I can come in and grab these and duplicate them. And I'll rotate. Just make sure that line there is parallel with the next. I'll come and grab a set of these again and move them up. And I'm not quite sure what I would want to add onto this, but I'll just cover the whole page. Maybe a, a taller shrine behind it. There we go, and now I can do the other side. The so first I'll combine these with Control E. And I'll grab a new color. and go through this side. You can see it's, it's not quite as strong of a perspective um, going off in this direction. It's a little bit off there. Don't ever be uh, afraid to undo something if it, if it doesn't look right. It's better to get it right than to just say I'll deal with it later. Just line this up in here. Now I'll duplicate it again. It looks pretty good. And now I have those. And now I need to worry about my vertical perspective. So I'm going to create a folder here. Call this perspective. I'll put these first two in there and, and uh, turn the opacity down just so it's easier to see. Uh, what we need to do. Grab a third color and now I need to zoom in here because I need to find some lines that I can work off of. Um, because of, there's so much detail in this and how everything is laid out, a lot of these um, angles here aren't that great to work with. So you see this here is curved um, but uh, this stonework here and the railing spindles are set in perspective so that's that's one way to work off of and I'll come back out zoom out some more and I'm gonna just try to line it up with those just like so now I'll come over a little bit more and just do the same thing vertically trying to make sure that these edges are following the brickwork and these spindles. And it can be a little bit tricky when you have so little information to work off of, but if, if you need to fix it, all you need to do is grab your direct select tool and highlight one of the edges and then you can just drag these points and it'll kind of work like a pendulum from your top points. After you get a few of those, you can duplicate them in the in the same manner, just making sure they follow into perspective. And this last uh, point here is a bit off, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Now come and move these in this direction, and rotate them a little, just to match. And just finish off over here. And that'll just about wrap up this tutorial. So you can see it's pretty easy to find perspective in, ex in an existing image. Um, all you need to do is look for uh, any lines that you can work off of and just start drawing and you can then duplicate what you have 
and rotate them to match. Now for the next tutorial I'm gonna be doing a, something a little special just because it is my tenth tutorial and I'll be doing a speed paint and instead of uh, doing my normal thing of making about five minutes and putting music to it I'm gonna set it up to maybe be about half hour to an hour and talk through it just to kinda go through um, what I'm doing and the processes that I'm using and I'm gonna be doing that um, every tenth tutorial uh, just for future notice just something to keep a lookout for so until then stay tuned and thanks for watching